Today you're going to listen to the story Big Red Lollipop for the second time. The purpose today while you're listening to the story is to think about the words that the author is using to describe what's happening in the story. I want you to be visualizing what's happening in the story and be thinking about how is the author describing the characters, the setting, and the events. So listen for the words that the author is using to describe the characters, the setting of the story, and the events. Let's begin. I'm so excited, I run all the way home from school. Ami, I've been invited to a birthday party. There's going to be games and toys, cake and ice cream. Can I go? Sana screams, I want to go too. Ami says, what's a birthday party? It's when they celebrate the day they were born. Why do they do that? They just do. Can I go? Sana screams, I want to go too. I can't take her. She's not invited. Why not? Says Ami. They don't do that here. Ami says, well, that's not fair. You call up your friend and ask if you can bring Sana or else you can't go. But Ami, they'll laugh at me. They'll never invite me to another party again. Sana screams, I want to go too. I say, look, Sana, one day you'll get invited to your own friend's party. Wouldn't you like that better? No, I want to go now. I beg and plead, but Ami won't listen. I have no choice. I have to call. Sally says, all right, but it doesn't sound all right. I know she thinks I'm weird. At the party, I'm the only one who brought her little sister. Sana has to win all the games, and when she falls down during musical chairs, she cries like a baby. Before, before, before we leave the party, Sally's mom gives us little bags. Inside, there are chocolates and candies, a whistle, a ruby ring, and a big red lollipop. Sana eats her big red lollipop on the way home in the car. I save mine for later. Sana doesn't know how to make things last. By bedtime, her candies are all gone, her whistle is broken, and the ruby in her ring is missing. I put my big red lollipop on the top shelf of the fridge to have in the morning. All night, I dream about how good it will taste. In the morning, I get up early to have it. Son is already up. When she sees me, she runs away. I open the fridge door. All that's left of my lollipop is a triangle stuck to a stick. Sana! I hear a sound in the front hall closet. I should have known. That's where she always hides. I shove aside the coats and boots. I'm going to get you. Quick as a rat, she scoots through my legs and runs around and around the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, yelling, Ami, Ami, help, help. Ami comes out, rubbing her eyes. Sana runs behind Ami, where I can't get her. What's going on out here, says Ami. Sana says, Rubin is trying to get me. Ami puts her hands on her hips. Are you trying to get your little sister again? She ate my lollipop, the greedy thing. She ate it. Ami says, for shame, it's just a lollipop. Can't you share with your little sister? I want to cry, but I don't. Sana runs to the fridge and brings back the triangle stuck to the stick. Look, I didn't eat all of your lollipop. I left the triangle for you. See, says Ami, she didn't eat all of it. She's sharing with you. Go ahead, take the triangle. So I have to take it. 
Go ahead, eat the triangle. But I don't. With all my might, I throw it across the room. It skitters under the sofa. Sana scurries after it and eats that too. The worst thing is that all the girls at school know if they invite me to their birthday parties, I have to bring Sana. I don't get any invitations for a really long time. Then one day, Sana comes home waving an invitation. Ami, I've been invited to a birthday party. There's going to be games and toys and cake and ice cream. Can I go? Our little sister, Miriam, screams, I want to go too. Sana says, no, I can't take her. She's not invited. Ami says, well, it's only fair. You went to Rabina's friend's party. Now Rabina and Miriam can go to your friend's party. I say, leave me out of it. Ami says, fine then, you have to take Miriam. Now it's Sana's turn to beg and plead. Ami won't listen. Sana's begging so hard she's crying, but still Ami won't listen. I could just watch her have to take Miriam. I could just let her make a fool of herself at that party. I could just let her not be invited to any more parties, but something makes me tap Ami on the shoulder. What? Don't make Sana take Miriam to the party. No, says Ami. No, I say. Ami thinks for a moment, then says, okay. So Sana gets to go by herself. After the party, I hear a knock on my door. What do you want? I ask Sana. Here. She hands me a big green lollipop. This is for you. Thanks, I say. After that, we're friends.